Napoleon, the new big historical movie created by Ridley Scott, is set to be shown in theaters starting from 22nd November. After that, it will be available on Apple TV+. Ridley Scott previously made The Last Duel. This time, he's back with another historical story, and it's making us really excited. He's telling the story of Napoleon Bonaparte, who was a super famous military leader in the past. So make sure you watch the whole video, because I'm sure you'll find this really interesting. Ridley Scott is a really famous director in Hollywood. He's known for making some really important movies like Alien, Blade Runner, Thelma and Louise, and Gladiator, just to name a few. His newest project is about a French military commander and emperor named Napoleon Bonaparte. If you watch the trailer, you'll see there's a lot of exciting action and a kind of tense feeling in the movie. The movie Napoleon tells an exciting and personal story about Napoleon Bonaparte, who started as a commander and became the emperor of France. The film shows how he began from a modest background and rose to power. It also focuses on his intense relationship with his wife, Josephine de Beauharnais. You'll see six impressive battle scenes in the movie that depict Napoleon's famous victories, his strongest desire for success, and his amazing skills as a military genius and a brilliant strategist. In 2021, Apple Studios confirmed that they would make this movie. The director, Ridley Scott, talked about why he's so interested in Napoleon Bonaparte in an interview. Napoleon Bonaparte is someone I've always found fascinating. He came out of nowhere and became a ruler. But he was also dealing with a complicated relationship with his wife Josephine. He tried to conquer the world to win her love. And when he couldn't, he tried to conquer it to get back at her. Which ended up causing his own downfall. The movie was originally named Kit Bag. Which comes from the saying, every soldier carries a general staff in their bag. But they changed it to simply Napoleon in January 2022. Now let's find out who's in the cast of the movie Napoleon. Well, Joaquin Phoenix is playing the main character, Napoleon Bonaparte. And guess what? Vanessa Kirby is right there with him, playing the fascinating role of Empress Josephine, Napoleon's beloved wife. Interestingly, Jodie Comer was initially supposed to play Josephine, but due to COVID-19 messing up schedules, she had to drop out. The movie Napoleon has a bunch of talented actors. Taha Rahim is Paul Barris. Ben Miles is Colin Coor, Ludivine Sanier plays Teresa Cabarrus, Matthew Needham is Lucien Bonaparte, Yusuf Kirkur is Marshall Lavout, and Phil Cornwell is Sanson the Buhu, Edward Filippona is Tsar Alexander, aka The Blessed, Paul Rees is Talleyraw, Catherine Walker is Marie Antoinette, John Hollingworth plays Marshall Ney, Gavin Spokes is Mula, and Mark Bonner is John Ondosh Juno. Quite a lineup, right? Surprisingly, as soon as they finished filming The Last Duel in 2020, Scott quickly said they would start working on a new feature. He seemed really dedicated and excited about this new project. The person who has been nominated for an Academy Award four times is leading a talented group of people who are working behind the scenes to bring his great ideas to life. David Scarpa, who worked with Scott before on All the Money in the World, wrote the story for Napoleon. This isn't the first time they've worked together though. Scarpa also created the story for the highly anticipated Gladiator 2. The person who edited Napoleon, Claire Simpson, once won an award for best film editing for her work on a war movie called Platoon by Oliver Stone. To make the movie look just right, they've got Darius Walski, who's been nominated for an Oscar doing the cinematography. He's been working with Scott for a long time, even since Prometheus. Interestingly, Napoleon is the 15th project where Scott has teamed up with production designer Arthur Max and costume designer Janty Yates. Max has been nominated for an Oscar three times for the movies Gladiator, American Gangster, and The Martian. Yates already won an Oscar for making the best costumes in Gladiator. Moving next, do you know where they filmed scenes for Napoleon? Was it all in one place? So, they started working on the movie Napoleon in February 2022 and finished it in May of the same year. They did most of the filming in the United Kingdom, especially in cool spots like Lincoln, Blenheim Palace, West Wycombe Park, and Bowden House in Kettering. They even made changes to Lincoln Cathedral to make it look like Notre Dame de Paris, where Napoleon became king. They also filmed some parts in Malta and changed Fort Ricasoli there to look like Toulon, where Napoleon had his first big win in 1793. 
You know, what sets Ridley Scott's historical epic apart from other Napoleon movies is that it's all about Napoleon himself. Most movies either show the really good or really bad parts of his life. But in this film, we are going to see the whole journey of Napoleon, from his huge rise to his dramatic downfall. The closest movie we can compare this to is a 1927 French silent film called Napoleon. It was made in a special widescreen style that nobody else used, which is pretty cool. Originally, they planned to make six movies, showing everything up to Napoleon's death while he was isolated in St. Helena, making all six films, especially the first one that's over five and a half hours long, turned out to be too expensive. They tried cutting it down to about three hours, but even that was tough. When you look at it, Ridley Scott's film seems quite reasonable in comparison. People still think Napoleon from 1927 is one of the best films ever. But it would be nice to have a version that's not so long and tiring to watch. So, Ridley Scott seems to be really into exploring Napoleon's life, which means we might finally get a pretty accurate portrayal of his story on the cinema screen. Even though the idea might not be super new, the movie's got a ton of passion and hard work poured into it, which should make up for that. All in all, there's a lot to look forward to when Napoleon arrives in theaters this November. Let's cross our fingers that it brings something fresh and doesn't repeat what we've already seen. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and leave your thoughts in the comments below. We would love to hear what you think about Ridley Scott's new movie on Napoleon. And remember to subscribe for more movie updates and discussions. Thanks for watching.